We cannot wait. Sport is, is a business now, but this was something where business didn't count. This was something that was personal to Sal Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso. This was from the heart. This was an opportunity to bring an event back to his people. Regardless of the money, regardless of everything else, it was an opportunity to celebrate the sport, to celebrate his career in front of what will be 50,000 people in Guadalajara on May the 6th. Cinco de Mayo weekend, an event, an atmosphere that I believe you will not witness again in boxing. The whole world will be watching as he defends his undisputed super middleweight world championship against this man, John Ryder, someone that we've worked with for over a decade. He's paid his dues in the sport. He's had his ups and his downs, and now he's on a big up. Victories over Danny Jacobs and Zach Parker made him the mandatory challenger, the interim world champion, and someone that will come to Guadalajara with every intention to win, with a big heart, with lots of strength, and a chance to make history for Great Britain and become the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. But in front of him, the biggest star in the sport of boxing, Saul Canelo Alvarez. The undisputed champion, someone that we've worked with for a long time, for a long time, and I have seen fearless to challenges. There's a lot of opinion in boxing. And what I see from Canelo and from Eddie Reynoso is a pure competitor, a winner, a legend of the sport that is prepared to take on anybody. His last four fights have been unifying against Billy Joe Saunders, undisputed against Caleb Plant, stepping up in a fight that many say he shouldn't have taken against Dmitry Bivol, and then Gennady Golovkin. The best resume in the sport of boxing, but now coming back off injury, still with a point to prove to some people, crazily, against a man that's there to win it all on May the 6th. This is going to be a tremendous fight, a tremendous card, and I think that people here, and particularly in Guadalajara, should be very proud of Sal Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso for bringing this event to their people on May 6th, live on the zone. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> to the Challengers team, Charlie Sims, of course, manager and son of Tony Sims, the trainer for John Ryder. It's been a great trip, um, a good taste for John, a long time coming but your man ready to put it all on the line and only going for victory on May 6th. Yeah, it's been a great experience um, doing this press tour. We had the pleasure of going to the stadium, having a look at the stadium, imagining the ring in the middle of the stadium and what 50,000 people are going to look like. And um, it's been great to spend some quality time with John as well, just, just on this trip. But one person I actually want to take this opportunity to thank who couldn't be here because the schedules clashed was Tony Sims. And Tony Sims is a trainer of John Ryder. He's dedicated years and years to the sport and years and years of developing John to the fighter that he is today. They've been through all the lows together, and now this is the pinnacle. He's going to face the best in the division, the undisputed champion, Canelo Alvarez. I just want to take this opportunity again to thank everybody for making this event happen, but undoubtedly we wouldn't be here, me and John wouldn't be here without Tony today. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you to him, and no doubt he's going to be extremely excited and extremely proud to come May 6th to face Canelo in the ring, who is one of the best. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Charlie. John, I know what this means to you and, and everything you've been through in your career, the incredible run that you're on at the moment. You come here with a low pulse rate, with a, a clear mind, knowing the task ahead, but also the opportunity that it presents. May 6th, Guadalajara. Just a fight of a lifetime for you. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, but um, it's not been gifted. I've worked hard at this for, for years. Like you say, I've suffered the highs, the lows, and um, yeah, the, the, the bottom of the, the barrel, really. But um, I'd like to take the time to thank you, Sal and Eddie, for making this fight happen. Um, Charlie, for, for working tirelessly back and forth with you to, to get the deal done. And to reiterate what you said about Tony, um, he can't be here because of schedule, we'd like to joke all Dina. Um, we're all in big fights and uh, Tony's been a rock in my career and someone has, has, has brought me back from the bottom and believed in me when I didn't believe in myself and, and I thank him for that. But I also thank the, the family and friends, you, Charlie, for, for sticking by me and livening me up at times and um, even down to my mum and dad, my partner and 
so I work down to myself because if I give up on myself, then I wouldn't be here. So I've, um, I've dug deep. I've done what I've had to do. I've worked hard to get back into this mandatory position, took the right fights at the right times, and um, I'm just really pleased to be here. I know how disappointed you were when you didn't get the decision against Callum Smith. A lot of people felt you won that fight. It was a very close fight, but that would have given you the opportunity to fight Canelo back then. But after a couple of years' hard work and probably now a better fighter with wins over Danny Jacobs and Zach Parker, probably the best time for you to take this challenge. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, obviously the, the decision went against us in, in 2019 and then, then the COVID times hit, which really messed everything up. But like you say, and I, I truly believe, timing is everything in this sport. And I mean, it waits for no man, but I feel the time is right for me now. And of course, the atmosphere will be incredible May 6th. And like you say, you're here to win this fight. You know how good Canelo is, but you believe in your heart you can become undisputed super middleweight champion on May the 6th. For sure. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to take part. I'm not here for a holiday. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring the team with me, have the team around me that I have if I didn't believe I could win. So I'm going this, leaving no stone unturned, putting everything in this camp. And um, I truly believe I can come away victorious, May 6th. Thank you, John. Eddie Reynoso, um, we had a lot of conversations about this fight. Middle East, Las Vegas, London... Um, and every time you say no, Guadalajara, it must be this time for Saul to come home. May the 6th, a huge moment for the both of you in Mexico. Hemos tenido, hemos tenido conversaciones sobre esto. Ha, ha dicho um, en, el, en Londres, en Las Vegas, en, el, en lo que sea. Y, y cada vez vos dijiste Guadalajara, cada vez el 6 de mayo en Guadalajara. Es un momento enorme. ¿Cómo se siente ya estar aquí con eso? No, pues muy, muy contento, estamos orgullosos de, de regresar a la tierra que, que vio nacer a Saúl como, como boxeador, a mí como entrenador y, y regresar más que nada pues con la mano en alto. No vamos a regresar a retirarnos ni vamos a regresar a, a hacer una pelea de exhibición. Regresamos con los cuatro cinturones que, que Saúl tiene y creo que eso es algo que nos llena de orgullo a nosotros y queremos también que lo disfrute nuestra afición. He's super happy, proud to go back to the place, the, the home that made Canelo the boxer that he is and made him the trainer that he is. And they're going to come back with their hand raised. They're not going to let down. They're not going to retire. They're, they're going to go in there. It won't be an exhibition fight. They're going to return with all four belts that he came with. And that's something that they're going to do with pride. And also, they just really want to put on a good show for the fans. Another great year for Sal, but doing it through injury now, off the back of the operation. He's 100%. You expect the very best of, of Canelo on May 6th. Ha sido un año para, para Saúl con, el, con la mano, lo que le pasó, la operación que tuvo. Pero ahora está 100%. Es un gran momento para él para volver al ring en Guadalajara. Sí, tuvo una gran rehabilitación. Estamos ya trabajando fuerte y pues vamos a llegar al 100%. Y en este 2023 pues vamos a, a buscar... Eh, muchos retos que, que nos hacen falta en la carrera de Saúl y, y este 6 de mayo pues vamos a, a comenzar. He had a great rehabilitation for his hand and they've been working really hard. He's at 100% and this is going to be a huge 2023. Um, he's going to go up against lots of challenges this year in his career um, and he's just, they're excited for, for what's to come this year. And finally, Eddie, uh, so many great nights in Las Vegas, in, in Miami, in San Antonio, in Dallas. What will it mean to you and, and your family, and of course the whole of Mexico to bring this event with Canelo Promotions and Clase Talientes on May the 6th in Guadalajara. Han tenido muchas noches increíbles en Dallas, en San Antonio, en, en todos lados. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significaría estar aquí o qué significa estar aquí en Guadalajara, volver a Guadalajara y a la tierra donde vienen? Pues eh, algo, algo fantástico para nosotros, como te digo. Eh, vamos a ver el estadio repleto y y pues mucha gente se va a dar cuenta que no, es, no va a ser como dice el dicho, Saúl va a ser profeta en su tierra, eh, va a llenar el estadio OmniLife y, y estamos contentos y muy orgullosos de regresar triunfadores de, del extranjero, de todo lo que hemos hecho fuera de México y como te, como te digo, lo queremos compartir y que disfruten a su campeón todos los, los jaliscienses y pues también todos los mexicanos.
like he said, but it's going to be fantastic. It'll be an entirely full stadium. Many people will, you know, a lot of, there's a saying that you aren't always a prophet in your home. He says that Canelo will change that. He will be a prophet in his home. He will fill the stadium. He's very proud to return, you know, from as winners from outside of Mexico, from all the fights, fights they've had outside of Mexico. But they want to share it, and they will share it with the people of Jalisco, and they're just hoping that people enjoy that having their champion home again. Thank you, Eddie. Saul, um, I felt at the press conference in, in Guadalajara, you looked around at your family and you felt very proud of this moment. You know, it was a, a decision that you insisted on, but when you looked around, I saw something in your eye that made you, I don't know whether you thought back to when you were a young boy and a, and a chance to fill a stadium like this in Guadalajara. It's going to be an incredible night on May 6th. Yeah, it's an unbelievable moment for me because I see my grandma, my, my, my dad, my, my mom, my brothers, my family there, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, media guys uh, I saw when I started in boxing. So uh, for me, I feel very proud and I feel happy to, to bring this fight to, to Guadalajara and, and, and give the people um, some of the experience I have in other, in other places uh, as, as the best in the world. How difficult was, was that decision for you? We know that you know, boxing is a tough sport. We know that it's a business as well. But with all the other offers around the world, you, you'd made up your mind a long time ago that this was the one, this was the time. Yeah, I think this is the perfect time to... A long time ago, I, I, I wanted to fight in Guadalajara. But uh, I think this is the perfect moment, perfect fight to, to, to bring uh, this fight to Guadalajara. Obviously, last year, the, the defeat to Dmitry Bivol, the fight with Gennady Golovkin, despite the resume, despite all the achievements, there will always be people that will say, he's on the decline, you know. Yeah. It, <laughs> do you feel that this no. is a big year for you or you, you know where you're at in your career? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to, to show everybody they won. I feel very good. So I had a lot of, a lot of years in my career, 17 years uh, as a pro. So a lot of years, so I have injuries too. I'm not in my best, but I'm, uh, I'm very motivated. And I'm very happy to be in the gym and train the 100%. And, and, and they, they're going to they, they gonna see what, what is coming. I'm, I'm very uh, excited, motivated, and, and be careful with that. Obviously, all of these belts are yours. One of them, John Ryder, is mandatory for. But whenever they fight you, they, they have the opportunity to win it all in one fight. This is, this is a good fighter, a, a tough fighter, and someone that has everything to, to gain on May 6th. Yeah, he, he have everything to win, nothing to lose, right? Uh, he always there, fight with the good fighters and try to, to, to get that opportunity, and now he, he got it, and it's gonna be a, a danger for me, uh, but I feel good. Uh, I can help them. And finally, those incredible nights in the Hard Rock Stadium and in Miami and San Antonio. And of course, it's 74,000 in Dallas mm -hmm. uh, for the Billy Joe Sa Saunders fight. I get the feeling that Akron Stadium in Jalisco on May 6th, just when you take that walk, just a deep breath, yeah. memories of, of the childhood, memories of everything that you've given to the sport of boxing will be probably your proudest night yet. Yeah. It's, it, it will be the, one of the best moments in my career, for sure. And the fight with, with Billy Joe Saunders in, in Dallas uh, was amazing. One of the, the most enjoyed fights I've ever been in. And, and, and I think in Guadalajara is going to be the same or even more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Sal Canelo Alvarez. Well, thank you for coming out today. As we said, May the 6th, Akron Stadium, Guadalajara, live on the zone pay-per-view. Saul Canelo Alvarez defends his undisputed super middleweight champions against, championship against mandatory challenger John Ryder. It's going to be an incredible event. We can't wait to join us there as we build up to another incredible fight for Canelo Alvarez. We're going to have a head-to-head -head up here now.
and the media will be able to get their time with both fighters if you haven't already. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming out today on this beautiful day in San Diego. We'll see you very soon. Thank you. Gracias. Muchas gracias a todos. Muchas gracias.